baby, welcome to Chef Mark's Cajun Kitchen. Hot day. Hey, look here. Man, it's 107 degrees heat index. That's hot, Shay. Man, I grabbed me a little koozie. Look at it. It says, uh, let the good times roll. And there's a beer and a, and, a, and a football right there. Isn't that a shame? That's a dang shame. You got none of that stuff. Hey, look here today. I gotta get my the sweat out my eyes first. Damn, that's good. Today, I'm making a crawfish and corn jambalaya, baby. And it's gonna be good. Let me tell you what, you're gonna need about a million ingredients. I mean, I've got stuff that you ain't even, I don't know, I'm, I'm sure you heard of it, but you know what I mean. Anyway, we're going to start off. It's just hot out here. I'm going to get it going. <clears> How <throat> hey, you like my new, uh, my new little ice chest here? Aye, oh, yeah, baby, Chef Bork. Yes, indeed. My good friend Joe, Joe LeBlanc got this for me. And this is where I'm keeping right now all my stuff a little cool in there, what I'm going to use in this cast iron pot. Anyway, we're going to get started, baby, so let's get it going. It's just hot and I don't want to spend the whole day out here. All right. I'm going to go ahead. One thing you're going to need is a cup of rice. You're going to need a cup of Paul Broad rice. And I'm just going to put that on the side right now. You're going to need some tomatoes. You're going to need one whole cut up tomato. You're going to need one large stalk of celery, cut up. Bell pepper, one half bell pepper, green one. Cut up, baby, cut it up. What else we got in here? Onion. I used a half of a yellow onion, cut up. Cut up, chopped up, whatever you want to say. I got so much stuff in here. Got a stick of butter. I cut it right in half because I've been using half to begin and, and half at the end. Just set that on the side. But you're going to see all that as I'm getting into it. What else we got? Parsley. Six, six sprigs of parsley. All cut up. All cut up. Green onion. I took about six or eight little sprigs of my, uh, tw uh, six or eight of my, uh, my green onions and got them chopped up in here. What else we got in here? Got some salt, put it on the side. No, sorry about it. Got some sugar, put it on the side. You're not going to need much. I got a half a teaspoon right there. Right here, I've got some bowls. I got a, a teaspoon of bowls. Tony Shashery bowl. Yes, yes, indeed. Garlic powder. Got a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. Right here. Time. Good old time. Got a quarter of a teaspoon of time. Yeah, chili powder. Half a teaspoon of chili powder. What else we got in here? Paprika. Got a tablespoon of paprika. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look here. This is a quarter of a teaspoon of ground up bay leaves. Ground up powdered bay leaves. Right from my bush. All right. Oh, now that's only equal to one leave. Or if you want, you can take a leave or two, drop it in there, and, and after 10 minutes, pull them out. It's your call. Okay, tomato bouillon. Got some tomato bouillon. I got a half a teaspoon. Corn, 
got white corn. And I got yellow corn. Yeah, it's all fun, baby. Let that get filled up. Shall receive. Quarter teaspoon, shall receive. Right here, this is the juice, the liquid that come out of my corn. I've reserved that, and you'll see why in just a few minutes. What's in the can is just pure corn. That's without the liquid. Chicken broth. Got a cup of chicken broth, maybe a little bit more. Don't forget, I'm making a jambalaya, and I'm using Crawfish tails, a pound of crawfish tails. And let me tell you what, chickens love crawfish. <laughs> what can I say, baby? Oh, they go good, so good together. I'm going to leave the crawfish in here. Yes, I am, and I'm going to put my juices back in here. And I'm going to close this up. Make some room. Hey, Joe, I love that thing, man. That is nice. <sighs> Cheers, folks. It's hot. Getting my pot going right now. And that's all you're going to see working for a good while. Talk to you later. Take it easy. Yeah, baby. Hot day. All right, we're gonna start off at my Louisiana Dutch Oven Society pot over here. Get that lid off of there. Here we go, baby. What I need first is some butter. Drop it in. Let me get my little stove started. Get my little stove started. Oh yeah, she's on. All right, the butter's melting. We're gonna saute these onions. Gotta saute the onions. And I'm gonna put the celery in there. And the bell pepper. cook a little while. Let her do her thing. Oh yeah, she's starting to get soft right now. All right, at this time, at this time, I'm putting in my yellow corn. Hello, hello, hello. Anybody there? The, the corn that you would like, you know. If you like little bitty kernels, find you one with little bitty kernels. You like big kernels, get them big suckers. Here we go. Got some white corn. One can of each. Get in there. Get in there. I'm going to let that cook. This already smells good as hell. Jesus Christ, man. I mean, this stuff here smells good. Ooh. Now, you know why I put that half a stick of butter in there? All right, baby. That beer's good. All right, this, this time I want to put my tomatoes in there. I want to melt them tomatoes down.
All right. Now I'm going to add my time in there. Got my time. Got my cell received. Paprika. That's the essence. Chili powder. Got some bowls. Bam, 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 wham, bam. And some garlic powder, baby. I'm not going to add any salt just at this time. I want to wait. I'd like to wait till the ending result and see if I need it. Because that little chicken stock has a little salt in it. And so you need to get a good measurement. Ooh, Lord, if you can smell this. Mmm. 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 Well, I'm going to let this fry down a little while with all the spices on it. I'd even get to burn some of them spices into the corn. See the bottom of that pot? Look at that. That's fine, baby. That's what does it for you right now. This smells so damn good. Stick it a little bit to the bottom. I got no problem with that because I got something to take that off the bottom of my pot. All right, baby, let's get this other stuff rolling here. First thing I want to do is put half of my corn liquid. Then, I want to put half of my chicken stock. Oh, yeah. Now I'm adding my parsley. Hey, look, if you ever come out to Palmetto Island State Park and watch the Latanya cookers cook, with any luck at all, you'll see me out there making this shrimpy corn. Hey, either shrimpy corn or jambalaya, I'll be doing something out there that's going to just tickle your, 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 your tongue, you know what I mean? All right. Get that stuff off the bottom of this pot. Might see a little bit green onions in there with that parsley, you know. I worked them close together so might be a little one on the other. And that's good. No problem. Oh, yeah. I do that all the damn time. It's good. Oh, oh, oh. 
Now a lot of people say that you shouldn't cook your you don't want to cook your crawfish more than 10 to 15 minutes because they're going to get hard like a rock. Well, hey, you know what? My pot, my crawfish. Look at them. Getting ready to take care of them bad, them bad babies. them tails baby. At this point I want to add me a little bit of tomato bouillon. And you find that at, the, at your, your uh, favorite store. It's usually in the Hispanic section. That is good stuff. This time, quarter teaspoon of bay leaf powder. Or if you just want to put your bay leaf, you can put it now if you want, or two if you want. Hey, I'm doing the powder thing. My God, if you can smell this, holy moly. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, buds. I'm gonna add in the other half of the other half a stick of butter. Just let her cook while I drink the rest of my little beer. All right, now, at this point, this is the point. This is the point. I'm going to add my chicken stock and the rest of it. And the rest of my corn liquid. Rest of my corn liquid. Now, not corn liquor, no. I'm talking about liquid, not liquor. Yeah, 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 boy. Sounds good, but I don't believe today. It's too hot right now. Let's drop some green onions in there. Now we're going to bring this baby back up to a boil. Right. Now, add in my parboiled rice. Just a little touch of salt. And a little touch of sugar. Not much.
All right. Blow my fire. Now see you after a while. All right. Let's see what's going on in the pot, baby. Rice trying to cook. To raise my fire up a little bit. Need a crawfish. Yeah. Oh yeah, see that little bubble right there, baby? That little bubble, that's the little bubble that's going to get it. See you after a while. Ooh, baby, look at that. Is that jambalaya or is that jambalaya? That is cooked so good. Well, I gotta grab me a little bite, Chad. Hey, look, now that you know how to do it, you need to do it. You need to make that rascal. Hey, look here, Chad. It's over. It's done. That crawfish, corn, Jambalaya on the bayou is ready, baby. Look here. Let me show you this. Huh? Oh, man, supper ready. Damn! It took the flavor. My bay leaf powder did its thing. Hey, Chef Bork, I'm going to talk with you later. Check me out, Chef, and don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Talk to me. Hey! It's all good on the bayou. Ah, oh, yeah, baby. Bedtime. <laughs> <laughs>